EDC pouches are all the rage right now, and especially if you trick them out with ranger eyes and with beads and all sorts of other pocket trash. But here's the problem. Most of these pouches are just not readily available. They're not made of any exotic materials, really. They're not uh, extremely limited editions, necessarily. It's just one, two, three-person shops like Data Crew and Garage Built Gear that just make them in such limited quantities, and the popularity has just risen so quickly, so fast, that people can't get them. For example, if you wanted to pick up a pouch from Data Crew or from uh, Garage Built Gear, well, you would have to essentially be right on top of however they post, whether that's on social media, they send out an email notification, something like that. If you sometimes don't see it within 60 seconds of the drop, then you might as well forget it. And that's ridiculous. And again, I know these are small shops making uh, the quantities that they're trying to get out to their customers. Um, and there are exceptions. I was able to nab one of the tchotchke wallets from Garage Built Gear last night, and it was a whole five minutes after the email went out. And so sometimes you can get lucky on certain things, but with the more popular items, probably not so much. So instead of heading in that direction, let's talk about today a pouch that I really, really like and I have been using since before all this pouch craze kind of began. And more importantly, it's in stock from what I can tell. It's in stock and it is ready to buy right now. At least until all you jackals get wind of it and then who knows. Thank you for watching everyone. We appreciate it so much. We are growing like crazy and I want you to grow with us. We just passed 1500 subscribers. Uh, on the channel lots of new subscribers thank you so much for the support and if you have not subscribed my question is why not it doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out a lot so go ahead and hit that subscribe button i have a very very lofty goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 so you can help me with that let's make that happen back to the video this is the stw edc organizer pouch doesn't have any flashy name I don't know what STW means. I thought it might have been some kind of Chinese or made in Taiwan kind of thing, but apparently these are made right here in the United States. And so if you're STW, why don't you reach out to the channel? We can see if we can figure something out. But I really want to share how much I love this pouch and how much I've really been using it. These are readily available right now in black and blaze orange, that good fluorescent hunter, I call it hunter orange or highway sign orange. So it's really, really bright, uh, but you can only get them on eBay and Etsy. But eBay is the place where I got this one, shipped relatively quickly um, and got to me within a week or two. And uh, it was 35 bucks. And so a little less expensive than some of the data crew and garage built gear options as well. The link is gonna be in the description, by the way. This is a three inch wide by five inch long by 1.75 inch thick pouch. It has 500D Kodora combined with a 1000D Kodora nylon on the outside. It has a number eight nylon coil zipper that really feels fantastic. I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute. And on the inside, it's got some nylon gripper elastic bands for your gear. We're gonna talk about that. It's probably the best feature of this pouch. All the seams are double stitched for durability. I've had no issues with durability or with fraying or with the zipper catching or any of that kind of stuff. From what I can tell, the zippers are not YKK. Uh, so they're not they're not weatherproof either. So whatever you're carrying in this, if it gets dropped in, in, a, in a puddle or in water or it gets really drenched in rain, the stuff inside's probably gonna get wet too. So just keep that in mind. But the zipper is, it really feels great. It feels much better than even the Data Crew zippers, which to their credit are waterproof and they're a little bit tougher to get out. But this one I can just get in, get out. It's really, really quick and simple. Even the Mighty Pouch Plus with its thick zipper is not necessarily as quick as this one. It doesn't feel as good despite not being a YKK zipper. Inside is the best part. So let me show you this. Inside, there are some elastic bands for your gear. And I know what you're thinking. Well, they're just elastic bands. But on the inside of those bands, there's it's called gripper elastic. And it's got these little plastic rubber bands 
uh, it holds your stuff in place without sliding around. And so I know that with this pouch, I can toss it in a bag. And when I open it, everything's going to be in place. See, I'm just carrying it around like it. You cannot do that. Look, look, I'm just. Let me show you. Let me show you a little bit. See, you can just. And look at that, look at that. Everything in place, marvelous. One of the best, I wish that the Garage Built Gear pouches and the Data Crew pouches had this el these elastic bands on the inside because it would make all the difference in the world in keeping your gear in place, especially those tiny items. Like I've got Uncle Bill's, y'all have heard of these before. Um, Uncle Bill's sliver grippers right here. And these, I mean, that's tiny. And it's, but these things I get, I use them all the time because I'm working with wood all the time. So I get, anyway, really, really nice to be able to hold your gear in place. Unlike the popular pouches, which don't have that. A lot like the last video of the knife that I kind of keep going back to, that Benchmade bug out that I was talking about. This is the EDC pouch that I keep going back to. Despite being lucky enough to have a couple of garage built gear, the popular pouches, I keep going back to the cheap one that I found on eBay, believe it or not. It's versatile, it's quick to get in and out of, it keeps my gear in one place, but most importantly, it is available. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support on the channel. Be sure to head over to my YouTube Shorts. I'm sharing those like crazy, making some shorts out of some of these videos that I've put out, some long form videos. And there's also some really good ones about some little gadgets and little things that I got for Christmas, so check those out. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.